Hello and welcome to the Earth 2 Beginner's Guide. I'm going to start on the basis that you already know what Earth 2 is and you're ready to dive in. Please bear in mind it's still very early days and high risk. Only put how much in you're willing to lose if things don't pan out. So the first thing to know is all land isn't the same price. Each country is priced differently depending on the number of tiles sold in that specific country. Right now, tiles range from around 50 cents up to $60 for the United States. There's a price filter in the top left of Earth 2 where you can set tile price, making it easier for you to find tiles within your budget. Now, where to buy? The general consensus is you want mines, resource heavy areas, places of high traffic in Earth 1, such as malls and attractions, and player made megacities. Taking a closer look at mines and resources, read them from the website. Resources will be released in the first half of 2021 at the earliest possible point. It will involve the ability for virtual land to begin generating different types of resources that will be vital for the building and economic purposes of Earth 2. These resources will be tradable between users for other resources or credits. In the future, users requiring resources to build or for other purposes will need to generate or gather resources or buy them with credit from users who have stock. We will also be releasing details about general uses for the varying resources. Now we know from the dev stream that these locations are likely to be linked to real world locations. Here's a clip from the dev stream in case you haven't seen that. Well, um, usually the oil is not under the refinery um, in the soil. So um, don't, uh, uh, I wouldn't bet on that. If you're living on a gold mine, on a real gold mine, your chances are way better. The thing is, um, most probably um, resources won't be random, completely random. There will probably be some random element to, to, to um, the stuff you find on your soil. There will be things like terraforming where you have influence over what kind of resources you can, you can basically dig up um, with some investments into a certain technology. You can maximize on certain resources. So a lot of it will be in the hands of the players. Um, we have an idea what you can find where and we do not want to um, disappoint your expectations if you buy a piece of land in the middle of the rainforest you expect wood um, <clears throat> and water and you do not want to find sand maybe um, so uh, we it will be not be complete random definitely not there was also blue dots added to the f2 map very briefly which showed locations of mines and minerals However, that was quickly removed. It could have been put up as a test or unintentionally pushed live, but another indication that these will be linked to real world locations. Whatever resource you're after, just give it a quick search and you can copy and paste the coordinates into Earth 2. I will leave links to several mines in the description, along with a link to the dev stream and the blue dot map. So on to high traffic areas. We know Earth 1 and Earth 2 locations are going to be geographically linked. Again, reading from the website, built on top of Mapbox technology, we have created a geographically linked digital grid layer that spans across the entire planet, allowing people to claim ownership of virtual land in the form of tiles. It is our vision that virtual land will increase in value over time based on demand, location, earning potential, much the same way that physical land does. Be sure to claim your own land in key locations around the world early on. Additionally, here's an old screenshot from the website. When advertisements are delivered on land that you own, you will be given a portion of the revenue generated from those advertisements, depending on the class of that land. Attractions such as Big Ben, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and the Forbidden City, regardless of the link in Earth 1, will also have people curious as to what's there in Earth 2. So you'll get the organic traffic from that. 
people wanting to find out what's there in its spot or has somebody recreated a digital version of it. Other high traffic areas such as malls, beaches, university campuses, football stadiums and even places like McDonald's will have the organic traffic to a smaller degree. But another big benefit to those is when we get AR features to the game, people wandering around these busy places, checking out what also exists in the metaverse. Here you will have the potential for ad revenue or even displaying your own business. We know Shane has previously worked with augmented reality. I will leave a link below for you to see more on that. We also know Mapbox, which Earth2 already uses, has augmented reality features, which additionally work with Unity, the game engine that Phase 3 will be built on. I will also leave a link below to the Mapbox ER. Not to mention ER is also mentioned on the F2 website. I imagine they will introduce some form of resource gathering or treasure hunt elements to the ER to gamify it and give a purpose to using it. Kind of much how Pokemon Go, you're hunting for Pokemon in the real world. In addition to high traffic areas, you can also go for areas with emotional connections. Think of football stadiums, sports arenas, racing tracks, if Earth 2 becomes as big as we all hope, you will have the average Joe wanting to own a plot in their favourite venue, therefore creating additional value in that emotional connection they hold. If you think you've found a good location, but you need proof, simply copy the coordinates from the Earth 2 map, paste them into Google, reverse them, and then check Google reviews of that location. Generally, the more reviews there is, the more popular that location is. But more importantly, popular to tech users. Moving on to mega cities. These are new cities which don't exist in Earth 1 that are being built by Earth 2 players, just like you and me. Imagine being there at the beginning of New York or London and being able to claim your plot of land. These could very well be the digital equivalent of that and this is your chance to claim a prime location. There's also a few additional advantages, such as having many other players around who will gather on your tiles, giving you passive resource income. You will also have more organic traffic and footfall if you're planning on building a digital business or advertising. You also get to be part of a community, building something together with neighbors and other players instead of alone. The plot then also becomes more desirable adding to the resale and rental market value. There's a lot of mega cities to choose from, so make sure you do some research first to see which one best fits you. I do have some mega city review videos if you want to check those out. Now, moving on to tile classes. Tiles currently have a class from between one and four, with further classes also mentioned, and eventually changing into base tiles, tiles without the advantages of class tiles. Classes are based on number of tiles sold in each country. For example, the first 100,000 tiles sold per country are class one, the next 200,000 are class two, and so on. However, there's currently no new class one tiles available until new areas are released. So what's the advantages and differences in the class? We've seen earlier that ad revenue will be dependent on tile class. The community also suspects that resource amount will vary depending on class. There's also the element of rarity. We humans love collecting and having things which are rare. Take a look at Pokemon cards or comics. And the limited run of 100,000 tiles per country alone adds to the appeal of class one. Along with the more popular locations are generally claimed with the class one purchases. When buying property, be sure to check a variety of map views. The devs have previously mentioned that satellite view is the most accurate. However, map view often shows named buildings and locations that you can then Google and research. 3D view lets you see how flat areas are. You might want to be on top of a mountain with stunning views, or you might want something completely flat for easy building. 3D view gives you that insight. You also don't have to rely on making new purchases to pick up tiles. 
Not only can you find huge discounts in the Earth 2 marketplace, but you can also still find class one tiles. I will leave a link to the F2 marketplace below. As a roundup, you're probably going to be best off getting a variety of property from areas you would want to build a home in, to mines, high traffic areas, and mega cities. However, I think the most important thing to remember is enjoy yourself. Immerse yourself into the amazing community that surrounds Earth 2. Make new friends, be inspired, and truly find something just for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Earth 2 content. Have an amazing day.